and we're back. Okay, now we got all the lights on. Oh, the sunshine today. Yeah, we're inside now, but real quick, we are gonna go outside in just a sec here. Just wanted to say, hey, welcome in guys. Yeah, my little, my very minimal Christmas decor cookie. <laughs> Trying to keep it like not too cluttered, right? Yeah, hope everyone is doing good today. Uh, I had a really good sleep last night after like all the shenanigans. There's my happy like middle spot. I slept for 10 hours, so I was up nice and early, got ready for the stream today, let Sammy sleep in a bit. And yeah, here we are guys, getting ready to cook up a feast. Sam uh, just popped into the city for a few hours, so it's just us watching the eggs together. Pitmasters, prepare yourselves, but I think we're gonna do just fine. So first thing we're gonna do right now we get to go check out the ribs and give them a little spritz of apple cider vinegar and apple juice mixed together. Okay, let's go outside. First spritz, guys. We're gonna have three total spritzes today. Let's, uh, let's do this pretty quick. Just gonna push this guy back. So you can reach the back stuff. Ten racks of ribs. Is there ten? No, sorry. Eight racks of ribs. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Happiness. Looking so yummy already. First hour. So this morning, just to kind of organize myself, this is what I wrote down. So I kind of separated the day between dessert and dinner and put down all of the amounts that I'm gonna need to make. Like the minimum amounts. Obviously if we get a little bit more, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be making 12 trifle jars and we're using the taller jars today so that we can get the proper layers in there. So our trifle is gonna be layered with the milk sponge cake we made on yesterday's stream. Those lovely things. Tear up the cake. We're going to be putting in a layer of our vanilla custard from yesterday's stream that we prepped. And I have really nice dark cherries. These were frozen, so I pulled them out earlier this morning so that they could thaw. And then we're going to like blitz or chop all these up. I haven't decided. I might just use the blender and like rough chop them and then macerate it with a bit of sugar and some cherry liqueur called Kirsch, Kirschwasser. It's a German thing. And then last, last two things going on to the trifle for sure need whipped cream and something that goes really good with cherries, toasted almonds. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so totals, we have our two milk sponge cakes. We made a liter of the vanilla custard yesterday. We're going to still need to make our liter of whipped cream, a liter of macerated cherries. We'll toast up our almond slices. And I'm gonna do a double recipe of that banana bread. So Sam and I have a little bit of munchies during the week. Chocolate chip banana muffins, always good. All right, dinner. So our 10 racks of ribs, I put down 18 portions of mac and cheese. What we're gonna be doing for the mac today is using the Lloyd pan to bake it in there. So we can't do two Lloyd pans because that's only 12 portions. So I was like, well, I guess I have to do three and get 18 portions. We don't skimp on our mac and cheese portion. Like this pan, we're gonna cut into six. But typically we give like a double a double quantity of starch, just because there's so much ribs, right? So three pans of mac and cheese going down. I got six really nice heads of broccoli to grill up. So while the mac and cheese is baking, we'll be outside grilling up the broccoli on the eggs. And then lastly, two liters of barbecue sauce. And we're using, camera, we're using a coffee barbecue sauce recipe from Franklin. 
He uses espresso typically, but the coffee that we have in the grinder right now is like a really nice medium roast. Got a good toastiness that I thought would go good with the ribs today. That's all I got for you guys. I think we should get started.
Look at how those little bitties crisped up. Perfect. Josh Elkin, the one and only. How are you, dude? That looks so good. Chili garlic, grilled broccolis. Let us scoop the mac. Actually, it doesn't look as like cheesy or I guess creamy as the last time we made this recipe, but we also used different cheeses, right? So it is gonna be a bit different. Main thing, we tasted it before we baked it and it was super yum. Sammy's got a rack of ribs on there. Whoa. Where'd the rest of the dish go? <laughs> um, hello? Oh my gosh, uh, I guess a quick rib test. How you know it's done? I guess when that happens. We good. That's why you do a six hour smoke on your ribbies. Okay guys, that's basically the gist of the plate. This is plated right now for our two people upstairs. Thank you for that ladle. Sammy's grabbing our coffee barbecue sauce. Yeah, where do you like a few ribs or a full rack? Cut them in half and overlap them. Okay, so this is what happened to the mac, guys. It's like pretty magical. So like there's a whole layer of like crispy cheese underneath that's like holding all of this together. And it's deadly. But yeah, like see how the noodles are kind of loose? I don't know why it got kind of dried out. We thought we did a really good job keeping the beige a little bit more runny, but maybe that's not the trick. Maybe we shouldn't follow the recipe to a T. <laughs> so six hour smoked ribs with applewood, three cheese baked mac with a coffee barbecue sauce homemade. Okay, I'm gonna try this before it cools off too much. I know the ribs are still hot because they are steaming. But like, so is this. <gasps> the cheesy strings. Ah! It's trying to run away. Mm, threw it in the barbecue sauce. That turned out really good. It's actually nice like that because it's not like too, too heavy, like sopping with sauce. It's got good crunch. You got the noodles in there. I like it. The little soft matzo nubbins. Blackberries are delicious too. This is like a little nubby on top here, pretty sure. What is this? I'm intrigued. A pork nubbin? I'm in. That's like finger food right there. <laughs> Talk to me. Okay, I'm gonna go for a little dip. See how we did all together. See how everything tastes. It's pretty hot though, so don't burn your mouth. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Try and take, all, take in all the flavors so I can explain it to you guys how it tastes. That rub that I made for the any type of pork is so good. Like equal parts salt and pepper and then equal parts paprika, garlic, and cracked coriander. That's delicious. Like once you get the smoke on here, I'm going to go for this one. Like, look at how that cuts. Whoa. Sam, you did amazing today. Can I just say that? Like as soon as we cut into it, juices are just like flowing. Can I tell a difference without an apple juice? A little bit actually, Cookie. Yeah, check that out. The smoke ring today that he got. That's like picture perfect. So the smoke is what colors, <clears throat> excuse me, the outside of the meat pink. Sometimes it's hard to achieve that. All I'm gonna do now 
Let's just pull that out. <laughs> you done good. Ribbies. That barbecue sauce with these ribs might be my favorite combination. Might just be. We made a bunch of different types of barbecue sauces to go along with this in the past. But the coffee one, something about like the little roasty and bitterness at the end. Yeah, wrap it up in FedEx. Mm. There we go. Finish it off. Nom. Yeah, you're drooling for sure. I hope you had a good day, Bran. Let me know the next time you're streaming. Okay, this came like right off the grill, so let's not burn our face. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Like the crunchy veg, having that little bit of bite, the juices, and then like the sweet and spice of the chili garlic sauce and the chili garlic oil that we made. So good together. We're going to send you guys off before we have pickups. <laughs> I got ribs all over my face for good measure. Just because we're going to have... One person's going to be outside, so Sam's going to be grilling, and I'm going to be inside doing other plating. So it's going to be too much back and forth to keep the stream going and get good content for you guys. Okay, I'm going to hit that button. Let's go see what they're up to. Guys, we'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific, doing a Pots and Pans Redemption, 50K for Kiwi Mish, Tenderloin, oh, Steak yeah. Frites, Bearnaise Sauce, it's gonna be so good. Knapsack, thank you for that last minute subscription to the channel. You're entered into the knife giveaway for the month. Okay, I'm gonna hit that button, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy wherever you are. And if you need us, we'll be on Discord. All right, let's go see Rare Drop and spread some love. Bye!